Hey everyone, it's Melissa. It is Monday the 23rd. It is almost Christmas time and I am so darn excited. It's just not even funny. Um, just love Christmas so much. The only thing that would make it more perfect is if we had some snow. But it is cold. So at least we have the chill in the air. We can have the fire going and all that kind of stuff. But um, I think I've got everything done. My tree is just stacked halfway up the tree with presents and uh, you know but Christmas comes once a year we have a limited number of them in our lifetime so um, it's really important to me to make good memories and do stuff but anyway um, I wanted today to talk about uh, how I take care of my hands let me go back and explain a little bit um, my mother was a redhead with freckles just completely covering her body uh, I did not think I had inherited her complexion. I was more like my father, um, who had more of an olive complexion, and I didn't seem to have any freckles. But one day, I looked down, and I had my mother's hands. And if any of you that have experienced that, and your mother didn't particularly have good hands, <laughs> you'll know the shock that it came, it came to me at that moment. Uh, I feel like nothing can really show a woman's age like her hands can, uh, maybe except her face and her neck, but hands really do show your age. So I thought, you know, I've got it. This was several years ago, and I thought, I've got to do something about it. My problem was I had really bad sun damage on my hands, just spot, spot, spots, and they just looked awful. I would try to hide my hands. I wouldn't wear nail polish. I didn't want to wear rings. I didn't even wear a wedding ring because I didn't want to draw any attention to my hands. <clears throat> So, uh, I'll give you quickly a series of steps and I'll tell you what finally worked for me. Uh, I went through lasering. That worked for a while, but the spots came back. Um, I thought, well, I'll do my Obaja routine with the Retin-A and the, uh, the fading stuff. And <clears throat> the only thing that they did was sort of make the spots red. It didn't really, like, flake them off or anything like, that, like it did on my face. So, I thought, well, that didn't work. And I just tried so many different things until I finally... Um, found this is what now this is what works for me so I just thought I would throw it out there it may not work for everyone but this is what finally has worked for my hands and you know my hands aren't perfect but I am pretty pretty proud of them compared to the way they looked because they looked horrible I mean just horrible old 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 lady hands so what I finally did was <clears throat> bought the DDF skincare system of the it's called the um, the DDF the resolve micro polishing system and it comes with this little brush thing you know my little mechanical brush now let me say I did try the Clarisonic I am NOT a Clarisonic fan do not use it at all on my face so I thought well I've already bought it I'll try it on my hands did absolutely nothing and the difference is this it it real it rotates and gets on the surface so it is actually just kind of working on the surface of your skin uh, it worked better than the Clarisonic on my face but I prefer my washcloths that I make on my face uh, and I also tried exfoliating gloves and exfoliating uh, cloths on my hands they did not work as well as this so my routine is, it, oh, let me back up and say that um, this is actually the same, this body part of it is the same. I have heard, I don't know because I haven't tried it, I already have the DDF, is the Olay Pro-X Advanced Cleansing System, but with a few changes, okay? Uh, I use the, the, this uh, every night except for at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week. So I put my body wash on my hands and I turn it on. There's two speeds. I turn it on high and I do it all over my hands on each hand. Okay? Now the other two nights, like on a Monday and a Friday, I take this off and this is like a sponge. It's like a polisher. Now the Olay does not sell this. Only the DDF does, and um, I tried doing without this, and I had to have that polishing system because the spots started coming back. You use the uh, polishing crystals, the DDF polishing crystals. 
you put those on your hand and they get real warm and then you turn it on and I like to use the high and you polish them you polish your hands twice a week Monday and Friday okay so after that uh, then you know I'll rinse it all off and do that at night and then and then when I get out of the shower or wash my hand wash you know whatever I do at night then I squeeze lemon juice on my hands and I just keep and I keep a lemon I usually keep it in a baggie I keep a lemon um, cut open until I squeezed all the juice out then I start fresh and do another one uh, so I do that and that's what I do at night um, in the morning after I take a shower or wash my hands whatever I do it kind of depends on when I take a shower um, I put on the O'Keeffe's this is the O'Keeffe's healthy feet now um, they have a healthy hands but I already had the healthy feet and I looked and it's the exact same ingredient so you can get the healthy hands or the healthy feet it's just the same thing uh, and you can get it at CVS I got mine at Lowe's but I've noticed the last time I was at CVS that they sell it there <clears throat> it is a now it looks like it would be really greasy because it looks like Crisco kind of you know like a like lard you people from the south know what lard is you you mix it up in your biscuits um, but it isn't it isn't greasy at all and so I just I put that on there and um, after I, this is in the morning and after I do that then I always 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 put on the um, the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch SPF 70 sunblock and I don't care if it's winter time I don't care if it's raining I probably if I went out at night time or something I would always put this on because your hands you're always they're always exposed you're always doing things with them um, they need to be protected they are going to grab any rays especially when you get over 55 any rays in the sky and they're going to um, turn into spots but uh, so I was real pleased that I, I don't know I'm the kind of person that if I see a problem I cannot rest until I, I research and I try experiments I will experiment on myself like you wouldn't believe uh, on different halves of my face on different parts of my body I'll do half here half here and this is what I done with my hands I would use half one side half another side try different things try all kinds of fading creams uh, that there were on the market uh, and this is finally finally what worked for me so if you have uh, spots on your hands that are just so stubborn and you've done everything else you might want to try the DDF system or get the Olay brush but use the rest of the DDF system like the polishing crystals and the little sponge thing that goes on it too you can get a refill kit of the DDF and I'll put a link below uh, to that and to the Olay Regenerist so uh, that's how I've been wanting to do this video for a long time um, showing my hands because you know it's kind of the little things in life that make you happy in it uh, you know having your hands clear just made me so made me so happy uh, I, because I would see them all the time my face I wouldn't see but I would look down and see my hands and and it looked May she rest in peace. It looked like my mother's hands and it would just drive me crazy. So uh, anyway, I, before I get off of here, I would like for everybody to um, maybe go and watch the video of uh, Colleen, Miss Cav Miss Cavalier. Oh, I don't remember the number. Sorry, I will put her channel down below. But she just just lost her one of her Cavalier dogs. Um, and... Uh, you know it was a beautiful painful painful story that she told and uh, you know just made me cry but if you could just kind of you know think about Colleen and uh, what she and her husband are going through because your your pets especially especially when your kids get grown uh, I've said before you're always a mother but those pets should sure become really really important to you because you can you can have little babies again then and, and she lost one of her babies so uh, everybody you know maybe go and think about Colleen and and you know wish her um, healing but anyway I hope everyone will have a Merry Christmas uh, 
you've uh, given me all so much joy. I really appreciate you watching. And um, I'll try to get back Christmas Eve, but we're having about 2,500 Christmas party and big sit-down dinner, so I may be too busy, but I'll try. But in the meantime, everyone have a wonderful Christmas, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.